These pills ought to clear up the problem. Let me know if the pain persists, okay? And you're looking chipper today. I told you that cold would be gone before you know it. Father, isn't it time you took a break? Look, I made you some tea. Thank you, Jean. You didn't burn yourself or anything preparing it, I hope. You worry too much. I'm old enough to manage a simple pot of tea, I assure you. <laughs> it makes me happy to see you growing up so fine. Huh? What's going on out there? Doctor, you have to help us. Monsters are on the attack and people are getting hurt. <laughs> What the devil are those beasts? This will get ugly. Jean, go and hide. I'll take care of bringing people to the clinic. This way, everyone! If you're unhurt, then assist someone who is injured. We must pull together! I know Father told me to hide, but how can I? I have to do my part, too. Oh, no. Get moving! There's shelter at the clinic! Keep your wits about you, everyone! I'll patch you up once the crisis has passed! We can't stand idle with the corrupted on the loose! Let's save those villagers! Are you alright? Get to safety and leave the corrupted to us! You don't have to tell me twice, but there's still a few left who didn't make it out in time. We'll do everything in our power to save as many of them as we can! They'll love you for it if you do. You're the last hope at this point. There are so many wounded we couldn't get to the clinic. Is it up to me to treat them all? Father, I'm here to help. If we split up, we can treat everyone. John, I thought I told you to run and hide. I can't stay hidden away when there are so many who need my help. After all, Father, am I not your son? You taught me that a doctor does whatever is needed. My lessons have sunk in, I see. Very well, then. Come and give me a hand. I can fight. It's not safe here. You should be running. I can't. I'm the local doctor's son. I won't leave until I've helped the injured. You've got a lot of heart for your kid your age. All right. Let's join forces and save those villagers. I really appreciate the help. My name's John. Now come on. There's work to do. All the monsters are gone! We're saved! And it's thanks to the lot of you. I'm glad no one got hurt. I was a little worried there. You can't know what this means to us. We decided to give you this to show our thanks. Hmm. Come now, Jean. Give the nice people a proper thank you. Oh, right. Thank you for saving our village. We saved it together. You did well today, Jean. Oh, I introduced myself to you, but I never asked your name, did I? Well, there was a lot going on. I'm the Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon? From the land of Lethos? Oh, please forgive my rudeness. Don't mention it. Like I said, there was a lot going on at the time. What brings such a splendid personage to our humble village? I've been on a journey to defeat the Fell Dragon and bring peace to the world. The whole world? Wow. If it's all right with you, Divine One, can I come along and help? <gasps> Jean! What's gotten into you? My dream has always been to become a doctor so I can save people. And that hasn't changed. But with monsters running rampant, I might die before I can do that. 
Look what just happened. At the Divine Dragon's side, I think I can learn to fight and to heal people at the same time. Well, that's all very well for you. But what about the Divine Dragon? You'd just be a burden. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Not if what he did during that battle is anything to go by. If Sean wants to come, I don't mind. Though I understand why you'd be worried. Well, if he has your permission, then... I can only ask that you take good care of my boy. What? You're actually allowing him to go? Father, I told you, you don't need to worry about me. It's not like I'm never coming home. In fact, when I do return, I'll be a first-rate doctor. You'll see. How quickly they grow up. Of course, Sean. Be a good boy, a hard worker, and an attentive student. And come home safe. I will. Thank you, both of you. I can't wait to start working alongside the Divine Dragon. The feeling is mutual, Jean. I have a hunch that I'll be leaning on you a lot in the days to come. 